Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be going over a money making method that can make you upwards of 60 to 80 million coins per hour. Now I've heard from some of the best grinders at this in the game that it can make you upwards of 80 million coins per hour. However, from my own testing, um, it seems to be pretty reasonable that you're making around about 60 million coins per hour. Now I will say that obviously with this money making method being exposed by me, um, the price of it is going to go down and you're probably going to be making a little bit less money. However, the item I'm going to be talking about is very useful. So at some point, the cost is going to go down so low that people are going to start buying it more and it's going to equal out at a pretty good money making method. Okay, so this method is performed in the nether and we'll be, craft we'll be getting flames from cinderbats and we'll be crafting up the ever burning flame. Now, the ever-burning flame is a pretty useful item as it, you know, increases the minion efficiency, so therefore, it's pretty popular for people to buy. Now, it currently costs 63 million coins on the AH, and if we take up the probably about 13 million coins worth of ingredients it costs to craft, then we can say it is around about 50 million coins to of profit from the 16 flames, meaning that you're making around about 3 million coins per flame. Now, I'm going to go on to the wiki, and we're going to see what the rates for dropping a flame is. Okay, so I'm on the wiki right now, and if we go in here, we set this to um, fractions, and assuming for, I suppose, maximum efficiency, realistically, there's two ways to do this. A, you maximize magic find, but it kind of slows down the kills, or B, you just use a Hyperion. Now, I'm going to be doing this with a Hyperion, so assuming you probably get around about 200 magic find with a decent setup um, that can also kill them quickly, it's about a 1 out of 19 chance to get a flame. Now, I'm going to go grind up bats for about a minute, and we're going to see how many flames I get per minute, and use that to calculate for an hour. Now, I know people don't like when I do this, um, but I'm just going to show you, like, the rotation of it. Okay, so before I get into the rotation, here are the coordinates. Now, you can just pause the video and put your own coordinates in. Uh, I am using Lunar Client, by the way. That is the Waypoints mod. Uh, Lunar Client's great. I definitely recommend it. So, you guys should probably use it if you don't want to get ratted, but you also want to be using certain mods in Skyblock. And also, it's great for FPS as well. Definitely would recommend if you're playing on vanilla. Um, so pretty much what you want to do is go around and kill these cinder bats and as you can see that was pretty lucky but you want to be dropping these flames. Now I'm going to just do a rotation which should probably take around about 40 seconds or so and um, I'll just show you how it works. So I'm going to speed it up and maybe just talk a little bit over the top. Okay, so pretty much you want to come up here. Um, you do want to probably be killing the mobs while you're here. Uh, I will show you, by the way, how to use it, do this without a Hyperion. Um, I think I might have forgotten to talk about that, but you can do this without a Hyperion. I will just get into that in a second. I am using a Hyperion because obviously it's the best for efficiency. Now, you just want to you know, teleport through here pretty easily, go through the rotation. You want to turn hitboxes on, which is just F3 and B, I think, or N, F3 and B. Um, so yeah. You just want to go around killing these, pretty simple. Um, I killed, what, probably like six there, and uh, pretty much how the way Cinderbat spawning works, from what I've heard and what I've probably seen from my own testing, is pretty much when you kill a Cinderbat in one area, it'll respawn in another. So potentially, if you're in a lobby where the Cinderbats have somehow flown outside of the cave, you might want to swap lobbies because it will be like decreasing your spawns, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, now I'll show you how to do it without using a Hyperion. Now, I think I said at the start was pretty much when you're doing this, there's two different ways. A, because of the way the bats work where they spawn in a new area after you've killed them, you can either A, try and kill as many as you want in an hour or in the set period of time you're doing it, or B, you can try and maximize your magic find. And this is probably what I would recommend you do if you don't have Hyperion. Now, I'd recommend that you try and get as much magic find as possible and then try and kill it with something like a Fire Veil Wand. And then once it's in the Fire Veil Wand, you can obviously equip like a Daedalus Axe and you can probably be getting like 300, if not more magic find, which means that you'd be getting more drops just from less bosses, um, less bats. And you're only killing like five bats per minute anyway without a, without a, with a Hyperion. So it's not really like you're missing out on that many rates if you're only getting, you know, three or so kills per minute. Now, assuming that you have 200 magic find and you are killing around about five per minute, which is by no means a lot. It's only like one every 12 seconds or whatever. And you should be flying around in like 45 seconds. So you should be averaging more. I'm just like assuming that this is the lower end of the rates. Now, assuming you're doing that, you should be getting around about one every four minutes at a nine, one out of 19 chance. And then assuming they're each worth about a little bit over 3 million coins, that is around about, what, 15 uh, flares per hour. And this means that you're getting around about 45 million coins just from the flames alone. And then on top of that, you can be killing the additional mobs and stuff that you can find. Now there's a base rate of 45 million coins. Add on top of that, if you go into the Kuju Gang Discord, you can sell a Vanquisher for around about 750,000 coins each. And you should be dropping more than 10 of them per hour easily. That adds up to an additional 7.5 million coins. 
So that is over 55 million coins per hour just by grinding up flames in the rooms and aisles. Alright guys, so I just want to say I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then leave a like and subscribe. Now I'm giving away a hundred million coins for every a thousand subscribers, and a happy run at 20,000 subs to celebrate hitting 10,000. So if you want to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe and comment in the video in the pinned comment. Now, um, hope you enjoyed. As I said, please help me try and get to YouTube rank. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.